Number uno. Quit versus uh, Noku. Now, uh, like we said uh, with Kevin earlier, that uh, Joker and uh, Pokemon Trainer have the ability to... It seems like it's a really even match about who destroys who. Like, let's say... Uh, Let's say like if Joker is has the ability to just like rack up percentage and then he gets our a rack up percentage and good damage, then he's fine. And then when he gets our same go for easy kills, but it, but at the same time, Squirtle has that ability of like just destroying Joker and the beginning of the match and then Ivysaur is there for quick kills. But anyways, uh both players getting a both players are equally matched. Now Noku has the Arsene to carry. And unlike the last patch though, Joker now loses a lot of Arsene when he gets hit. So now Noku has to play really because he uses Arsene well here and could potentially end Quid's put stock if he plays it correctly. Quid switching to Ivy Sword to get that kill and get the zoning pressure. Okay, nice parry on the uh, the Aha. Okay. Nice. Oh, back air. So now Charizard now. Live longer, I guess. All right, quit not. Uh, what's a, ooh, nice, nice up smash. All right, going to Ivy Sword now. All right, it seems like Quid is switching a lot lately. Oh, but well, not a lot, a lot. But he's switching more so to like options that where he can like be safe and kill. Okay. Quid is now racking up the percentage, and he's also racking up the Arsene. All right. Now, Noko seems to be getting ha having a good, uh, oh, nice counter. But Noko seems like he's having a, oh, another nice counter. Oh, he went in so deep for that. It's a for it's kind of unfortunate that Quid switched at that point because I think I don't think he was expecting that uh, Noku would go that low to hit him. But, all right, let's see. All right, Joker. Oh, he's, is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Now, both players are... Uh, okay. Noku starting with the bread and butter. Okay. Ooh. Starting something. Getting that nice and clean rack up damage. Now, the thing about uh, racking up damage on Joker is that it's a good and a bad thing at the same time. A good thing is that you're getting the lead. The bad thing is that you're kind of, like, giving him Arsene. I mean, that's something you don't want to want. You want to make sure that Joker does not get Arsene because Arsene is extremely dangerous in situations like this where he could probably kill you. Okay, forward smash coming out. And he died? I'm pretty sure that was not correct DI. I'm sure that wasn't correct, yeah. But uh, game one goes to Noku. All right, guys. How, how's everyone doing in the chat? We're gonna head into game two. Okay, going into game two. Now, we left game one with Noku winning the first game. And now let's see how he does in the second game. And let's see how Quid adapts to uh, Noku's playstyle. Now, Quid picked Town and City, which I can understand why, because it's more it's a better it's a good stage for him to get early kills. And plus with Charizard, he can like get early up throw kills. So I can see why he picked this stage. Quid getting an exceptionally good lead on Noku in this game. Okay, two frame. Okay, consistent two framing. Oh, oh, nice. He's doing so good. To, oh, is he dead? I think he's dead. No, he's not dead. All right, all right. Noku waiting. Oh, nice read on the jump. All right, going back, rotating back to Squirtle. I do like how Quid is like, just he just knows where to go into a uh, certain Pokemon, so that way he could keep up the pressure and keep no and keep Noku like in bay. Now, Noku has entered Arsene again, and he's at 62% with Quid at 40%. Do Quid is doing an exceptionally good job. Okay, nice parry. 
All right. Ooh, side B to up B will not kill. Okay. Oh, I don't agree with that option. Kind of, kind of gave, kind of just like ended his his life right there. I think uh, Noku has to play a little more patient this game or try to keep up with the pace because it seems like Quid is just rushing him. Quid is actually just not not giving him any breathing room to go in to like do anything, even with Arsene. Okay, nice parry, and that's it. All right. Okay, neutral, and I think that's it. That's it. That's it for game two. Quit adapting exceptionally well that game. Not allowing Noku to do anything in that game, mostly. Seems like Noku has to really, like... Game two, game three, actually. I don't know why I said game two. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. So, Noku is uh, kind of changing up how he plays now. He's kind of like he's taking the initiative, and he wants to, like, not allow Quid to do what he did last game, which was completely just rush him down and allow – and just, like – uh, how should I say it? He's kind of like adapted to the, to the situation at hand. Oh, going for the frisky F smash. And now he has Arsene active. The carry has arrived. Going for the F smash, trying to pay the punish down air, which is good on Quit's part. Okay, down. Oh, trying to get the back air. Okay. Quit could be extremely safe against Arsene. All right. Ooh, he tried to go for the read. Oh, he tried to get again. Okay. Ooh, I don't. I know he. Uh, what's it called? I think he read that actually. Oh, that. That hitbox is exceptionally big. But uh, anyways, it seems like uh, Quid got the download, but then Noku's like uninstalling the download. But Quid probably has potential to re-download the download, if that makes any sense what I just said. <laughs> but uh, all right, Arsene's back up. Okay. Ooh. Oh, he, no, no, don't do that. Okay, going for the down tilts. Okay, come on. Okay, not the, oh. Seems like Noku's kind of losing the edge. Okay. Oh, I think that was a miss input. I could be wrong, but I think that was a miss input. Okay, switching to Charizard. I think Quinn wants to is ensure this kill right now because if he ensures this kill, that gives him a good... Lead and that leaves no clue to be in the, like a, a, a small deficit. I think this is it. No, this is not it. He does not kill percent. All right, going for the counter, trying to read that uh, Quibi's gonna hit him so he can get our sentient gauge up. Both players kind of playing it safe because they realize that if one of them messes up, that, that it could be one of their stocks, their second stock, in fact. Oh no, that was really risky. I don't think I he should have done that. I think she just waited more. All right, Aha. Yeah, it seems like uh, Quid is, like, just playing extremely patient versus Noku because he knows that if he messes up once, he's going to die. All right. Pummel. Oh, he released the pummel. He's trying to read the... Okay. Fourth throw. Not going to kill. Down tilt. And... Oh. Okay. Sniff. 
Oh, that. Okay. Okay, so now Noku's putting our Sen, and I think. This is decent for Quick because it allows him to allows Arsene to run out quicker. But okay, up tilt's gonna finish it off. Now, I'm not gonna. And now this is not down for the count, as we've seen Arsene allow so many good comebacks and has so much damage potential. But at the same time, Quid has a Quid has been really flexible this whole game. Okay, going for the down tilts. All right, down tilt, but you are sent, but you are sent counters. Okay, switching to Ivy Sword for the. For the edge guard, and now he's still alive. Noku showing that he's not gonna give up this fight. Showing that he knows that he can make it back. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, going off stage. I don't agree with that. Oh, he's, is he dead? He's dead. Oh no, that's unfortunate. I think he had not gone off stage, he would have been fine. 